Good morning students. Uh, today welcome to our English lesson. I'm Mr. Collins Oden. I'm going to take you through negotiation skills where we are going to have two lessons. Welcome. When we talk about negotiation skills, we talk about uh, a process of discussion between two or more disputants uh, aimed at finding a solution to a common problem. That is from the word negotiate. Then uh, it is a method by which people settle their differences. We may have differences at our workplace, we may have differences at school, we may have differences at our homes or anywhere we people socialize. Then we have to come up with an agreement so that we come up with a makeable solution to our issue. So when we negotiate, we have some skills that we need to learn. Negotiation skills uh, will be helpful when we are haggling over the prices of commodities, that is uh, marketplaces. We want to negotiate about prices of commodities. Uh, we also negotiate with our employers about higher salaries. We may also negotiate with our employers for permission. You want to be off duty for some time. You negotiate with your employer. We may also negotiate for peace or solving conflicts, that is for different countries or different uh, tribal tribes, they come uh, and sit together and come up with an agreement. There is also negotiation for better services. You negotiate with the service provider on how he's going to provide you services or what kind of services they're going to offer you. We negotiate for some favors from our parents. Uh, we also negotiate with our teachers at school. We want some favors from them. We negotiate with the fellow students. Uh, when you need something from a fellow student, you have to come up with an agreement uh, or you have to reach a consensus on the same. Or we also negotiate with employers over some favors, as I said earlier. Now, when we negotiate, we do negotiate at different places. One, we negotiate at home and just as I said, we ask for favors from uh, our siblings at home or our parents. There's a way we need to talk so that we come up with an agreement. Number two, we negotiate in schools when we are seeking some for some privileges from our class governors, we fellow classmates, any teacher, be it uh, a class director or any subject teacher of your class, you need some favors from them, or even the administration of the school, we negotiate and come up with an agreement over the same. We also negotiate at workplaces uh, with the, the employer over some break from work, we negotiate uh, on our promotions, we negotiate on salary increment, among others. We also negotiate at marketplaces, as I said earlier, when angling over price of a commodity. Those are some of the areas uh, where we negotiate. Uh, when we are negotiating, we need to employ some skills. Uh, one of the skills that we need to uh, employ is compromise. When we talk of compromise, we talk of letting it go. Sometimes you talk with someone, you want to get something from him. Uh, it is not a must that you, may, you are going to get what uh, you want from him. He may or he may not give you what you want. So when he's not ready to give you what you want, then we must also be ready to accept any particular outcome. So compromise has to be there on both sides, on the negotiator and the person you are negotiating with. Number two, we have what is called a win-win. In a negotiation, a good negotiation, we expect both parties at the end of it to get something. They also have to come up with uh, some uh, benefits that they're going to get other than a lose-win. When you talk of a win-win, for example, you are in school, you want to go for a trip, you go and uh, ask your class director, Sometimes there are some conditions that the class director may give. So when you comply with the conditions, then 
you are satisfying the needs of the class director. At the same time, when the class director allows you to go out so that you go for that particular trip, then we are gaining. Both the class director and the, the students are gaining, and therefore we talk of a win-win. Then number three, we have respect. When we are negotiating, there must be respect. The person you are negotiating with, there must have be, uh, you must consider their feelings, you must consider their attitudes, you must consider their beliefs and values when you are negotiating with them. Then you talk kindly, maintaining a pleasant tone. Uh, you don't need to have a, a, a rude kind of tone, but you also need to maintain a tone that is acceptable and a tone that can allow negotiation to go on. Appreciate the other party's view, uh, letting them to know that you do appreciate them. So the respect uh, that we're talking about must be there as a skill. The next one, we have what is called tactfulness. When you want to negotiate, you, uh, uh, be, you need to be uh, a little bit tactful. You have to know how to approach whatever you want to talk about or whatever favor you want. You need to know how to approach the person you are negotiating with so that uh, whatever you are going to put forward may be considered. So we need to be very tactful. We have to have valid and reasonable reasons, convincing reasons that can allow you to get the favors that you need. So we need to be tactful. Then the next one is what we call concessions. Uh, both negotiators must be ready to let go some of their desires or interest. Uh, when you talk of concessions, then you need to let go. You don't need to cling on what you need, whatever may, uh, uh, whatever cost it may, it may have. So sometimes we need to let go, and that is what we call concession. We don't need to have a very hard stance on the same. Uh, we may act as a, an impediment to reaching an agreement in a negotiation. Therefore, we need to consider what is called concessions. The next skill is what we call diplomacy. Uh, when we talk of diplomacy, we uh, most likely talk about what uh, politics or any other place that we may apply it. But uh, diplomacy involves uh, being ready to engage in a one-on-one -on -one discussion. You be uh, ready to engage one in a discussion with an open mind, you don't have a fixed mind on an issue, and uh, be ready to uh, consider any outcome, any particular outcome that we may have at the end of our negotiation, be it a positive or a negative one. Therefore, diplomacy is a very important skill in our negotiation. The next one is trust. Uh, a successful negotiation takes place on the basis of trust. There must be trust between the person, the, the, both the parties negotiating, so that we may have uh, an amicable solution to whatever favor you may need. So trust is very important. And lastly, we also need to have what is called patience. Patience is a skill. Uh, we need to listen to both parties attentively without interrupting them. When one person is putting up his argument on a certain issue, we need to listen to them carefully, attentively, and without interrupting the other party, so that uh, each side can be heard effectively. Uh, so we have patience, uh, which is very important in, uh, as a scale in negotiation, and uh, therefore Whenever you are negotiating, consider patience as a skill. Otherwise, that is uh, the end of our uh, lesson, the first lesson of negotiation. Uh, until next time, see you. Bye-bye.